And that's how we do holidays. We we do ho- do the holidays the best we can, you know. It is what it is. We don't celebrate holidays, right? Fuck it. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, it's just like President Day. We ain't never had a really a president to celebrate. You know, Barack came in. We can celebrate Barack, you know, a little bit. Yeah, finally. Finally. You know, I, I like Barack. I liked him because he was black, you know. He was, he was black enough, you know. I mean, he, was, he wasn't black enough for my taste, you know. I wish he was a little browner. At least his wife color, at least, you know. But I, I, I was happy for him. I was proud of him and shit. But, you know, his whole two terms, they, America disrespected him. You know, yeah, yeah. They disrespected all of us because the thing about Barack, you know, they called him a nigga every time. The nigga president, the nigga president, the nigga president. And, and I was highly upset at that. I mean, I was highly upset and they kept calling him a nigga because the whole time he was never a nigga. He, he never did anything nigga like. I know a lot of y'all clapping out of pride. But I, I ain't clapping out of pride because it pissed me the fuck off. Because he didn't do shit I did, you know. He never fingered Michelle, never cooked no barbecue in the yard. He had a pussy ass, punk ass dog, and he had no pit or Rottweiler. He didn't do shit. He played basketball, he smoked. But my nigga, hey, we showed you smoking weed. Why you roll a blunt while you're doing a press conference? One motherfucking nigga thing would have made me feel like he was a nigga. But I, I was. Really pissed off at America calling him a nigga because he was never a motherfucking nigga. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He was never a nigga I know. Never a nigga. When he walked in that office, oh, he's not a nigga. Hugging his wife, holding her fucking hand. They always in each other's eyes and shit. That is not nigga things. But God heard our prayers. God heard our prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Because now we have a real nigga in our office. <laughs> Donald Trump is the realest nigga I ever seen in my motherfucking life. You can get mad if you want to. He don't look black. Yeah, he the new kind of nigga. We got burnt almond. We got light skin. We got dark skin. We got purple up in this motherfucking. Now we got a new kind of nigga, a tangerine a nigga. Donald Trump is the realest nigga in the game. Him and his wife fought at the inauguration. Look, he turned around and said, bitch, get your act together. Turn back around. <laughs> Did this motherfucker just check her ass? The day he won? That's nigga shit. They fight walking off Air Force One. She walking off. Go, nigga, I ain't touching your hand. Go. I'll be down there, DT. Leave me the fuck alone. Now the man, like, you know, that stupid ass. Always acting stupid. I don't know what the fuck to say. Donald Trump is a real nigga. He was at a press conference in a foreign country, pushed a prime minister out the way. Move, bitch. <laughs> what? Nigga, nigga, fuck your bitch ass up on this camera. If he ain't no nigga, I don't know what the fuck y'all looking at. Oh, Donald Trump, a real nigga. And this made me say, damn. If he ain't a real nigga by this, he won with real nigga shit. Here we go there, I'm looking to take care of the country and blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Donald Trump turned around and said, yeah. I grab a pussy from time to time. Real niggas all over the place. Nigga, let me sign this motherfucking shit. 